Irene is called one of the most beautiful idols that ever existed. Due to her cold face, there are so many people that dislike her and controversies erupt. In 2019, in a separate survey among soldiers doing mandatory military service in South Korea, Irene was ranked as the third most popular female K-pop idol. Here is the story of Irene. Irene was born Bae Joo Hyun on March 29, 1991, in Taegu, South Korea. She grew up in Bukgu. Her family consists of her parents and a younger sister. She attended Hacknam High School in Taegu. In 2009, Irene went with her friend to a SM Entertainment audition when she was in high school. Later that day, she received a call from SM Entertainment telling her that they wanted her to join the company. Irene recalls that she was on her way to get Tag Baki when she got the call. During her time as a trainee, in August 2013, she appeared in the music video of her then labelmate Henry Lau's song 143. On December 9, 2013, Irene was one of the second batch of trainees introduced as a member of SM Rookies, a pre debut team of trainees under SM Entertainment, alongside former trainee Lamy and now NC team member Jae Hyun. During SM Rookies, in January 2014, she alongside Solji as well as now NC team members Johnny and Young appeared in the Celebrity Magazine. In February 2014, Irene, Solji and Young appeared in the Oh Boy! Magazine. On July 17, 2014, several clips of Irene were uploaded to SM Entertainment's official YouTube channel, Sintown, one of which showed her and Solji dancing to the song Be Natural, which was first performed by the company's group SES. On July 27, 2014, she was introduced as a member and the leader of the girl group Red Velvet. They made official debut with the single Happiness. They have become regarded as one of the most popular K-pop groups in South Korea and worldwide. In November 2014, Irene appeared in the music video of Kyun's ballad single at Gwangwaman. From May 2015 to June 2016, Irene hosted the music show Music Bank with actor Park Bogum. They both gained attention for their chemistry as well as singing and hosting skills. The press called them one of the best partnerships in the show's history. In July 2016, Irene made her acting debut in the web drama Women at a Game Company where she played the female lead. On October 14, Irene became a host of OnStyle's fashion show Laundry Day. In the same month, she became a panelist on the KBS show Trick and True with bandmate Wendy. In July 2019, SM Entertainment announced that Irene would be collaborating with South Korean DJ and producer Raiden on the track The Only, which was released on August 2. On April 21, SM Entertainment confirmed that Irene and fellow member Solji would be debuting in the group's first subunit. The subunit officially debuted on July 6 with their first mini-album Monster. She and Solji also starred in a spin-off version of their reality show Level Up Project. On July 16, 2020, SM confirmed that Irene would be acting in the film Double Patty, it was released in February 2021. She played the role of Lee Hyun Ji, an aspiring anchor. Irene also released her own OST, titled A White Knight, for the movie. Irene has been hailed a CF queen due to her huge marketing power and numerous endorsement deals ranging from cosmetics, luxury apparel items, and up to basic commodities. Besides her endorsements with Red Velvet as a group, she also became a model for Ivy Club together with label mates EXO in 2015. In February 2019, Irene was announced as the new muse of the Italian luxury jewelry brand Damiani, becoming the first Asian to represent the brand as a muse. In the same year, she also became the face of fashion brand Mio Mio. In March 2019, she attended Paris Fashion Week and caused a craze at Mio Mio's AW19 show. On September 17, 2020, Irene was announced as the new ambassador for Prada. The stylist and editor, identified as A, uploaded a post on his Instagram that targeted an unnamed female idol. However, netizens speculated it to be Red Velvet's Irene. 
The 15-year industry veteran stylist berated the idol for her rudeness and behavior, which even caused him to break down in tears. The hashtag psycho and monster were used in the post, which has since been removed, giving internet users the impression that it was about a Red Velvet member. Even before I met her, other people told me that I needed to be mentally prepared to meet her. I became a fool as I could not do anything in front of someone that was looking at me with such distaste while shuddering. I was hit endlessly by the knives she threw out with her tongue, and so I cried. In light of the controversy, fans began bringing up proof that Irene is a kind person with a good character. As an example of her kind personality towards her staff and colleagues, fans recalled how Irene previously gave out expensive presents to Red Velvet's backup dancers. Irene took to the social media platform to post an official statement, apologizing for her poor words and actions. SM Entertainment also subsequently released a statement apologizing for causing concern to many people. The heated controversy had caused widespread reaction as it sparked larger conversations about the deep-rooted gaptual culture in Korean society. Following further numerous speculations in regards to the incident, staffers who had previously worked with Irene voiced their opinion to defend the musician. Some stylists, dancers, and makeup artists that worked with her had also posted on their Instagram accounts that they had never experienced such rude actions that are being shared about Irene. The staff shared that Irene is someone who has a clear understanding of what she wants and has the talent to deliver her opinions clearly, she also knows how to appreciate her staff through giving handwritten cards and gifts to staff members. Elena Yim, a former SM stylist and visual director, also claimed there are always two sides to every story and it's unfortunate that people refuse to look at the other side of the story as they only concentrate on what has been revealed and what they want to see. Irene went on hiatus for 10 months and came back with Red Velvet. However, she for a long time wasn't able to do any CFs. Only recently did she manage to do a handful of CFS for international brands. Hopefully, she will soon be able to return to normal. We don't know what actually happened, and she had a lot of support from the staff defending her and only one staff member came out forward saying all the stuff about her. Thank you for watching and if you have any recommendations for the next video, please, leave a comment below.